Congratulations on your purchase of your Surface 604 bicycle. Today we're going to go through the unboxing and assembly of your new bicycle. Some of the tools we'll be using today are your multi Allen key sets, individual Allen keys, or your tri Allen key tool. You can use a torque set if you want it to be more detailed. We're also going to be using a pedal wrench. For unboxing, we're going to be using a pair of snips. We also need a bicycle pump, either a hand pump or a floor pump. If you don't have an actual pedal wrench, any regular 15 millimeter wrench should work. So unboxing, we are going to cut the tape. We are going to pull the staples out. Careful not to cut, cut any fingers. And we're going to cut the straps. It's a good idea to fold the staples away from you. Unfold the edges of the cardboard box. And then you'll see inside, there may be a few items to lift out first. Put it on your bench. Inside the box will be a bunch of packaging. You want to remove what you can before taking the bike out. Remember to recycle responsibly. And then you're ready to lift the bike out. Due to the weight of the bicycle, we recommend using two people to lift the bike out of the box. If you're unboxing alone and you need to cut the box, we recommend reaching inside with your blade, pointing away from the bike, any parts of the bike, especially the tires. And we're going to push the blade through and pull it right up on each side. Once you've cut the box open, pull down to the bike and push the cardboard down. Remove the bike from the box and secure against a wall or an area you can protect before unclipping. We're going to remove the battery and move the box out of the way. At this point, we've got a lot of protective packaging that we'll need to remove using the snips. You want to be careful as you snip off zip ties, removing styrofoam of all the areas that you need to, to do to unboxing. If you don't use a work stand, we recommend laying it down with the drive side facing upwards. At this point, we can check the other accessories that came with your bike. You've got your pedals, a headlight, and the mounting bracket. There's a charger and the cable, and then you'll also have the battery pack. Next step is going to be installing the pedals. A little dab of grease on the threads to help installation. Once you've found the right pedal with the offset facing forward, lightly install it with a few turns. It should engage. Once you've got your threads engaged, you can then spin the crank backwards, holding the pedal spindle to install until finger tight. You can then use a pedal wrench or a 15 millimeter wrench to snug it. Before installing the handlebars, we'll need to remove the faceplate of the stem. With the faceplate removed, we can then install the handlebar into position and then reinstall the faceplate. So we're going to install the top bolts of the faceplate first, just lightly tightening them. The next step is to install the light bracket between the faceplate and the stem and line up the bolt and lightly thread it in. Once you've installed the light, find the wires and plug it in by lining up the arrows. So once your light's installed, we're then going to tighten the bottom bolts completely. It's recommended to tighten them all the way down and then move to the upper bolts to finalize the tightening process of the stem. Uh, the next step will be to install the front wheel. So we're going to remove the front axle, unthreading it, pulling it out and we're going to lightly grease the threads and we install the wheel into the dropouts aligning the rotor into the caliper and then looking for the threads on the other side of the axle. Once the axle is installed finger tight we're going to tighten it right up with the allen key. 
If the rotors are rubbing, brakes are dragging, you can loosen off the caliper bolts, one or both, to realign without rubbing and then retighten. Once the bike is fully assembled, we can remove it from the stand to do further adjustments. Here we have a quick release seat collar to help adjust to your desired height. Brake lever adjustment is from the back of the brake perch. Loosen, find the desired angle, and retighten. Using your Allen key set, secure the stem bolts, snug and tight. These two same bolts are used for aligning the steering if needed. The two top stem bolts can be loosened to adjust the handlebars whether you need them rolled forward or rolled back. To adjust the throttle, use a small Allen key on the underside of the throttle mount. Adjust to position and then retighten. The seat angle can be adjusted forward or back with the two bolts, one in the front and one at the back, to find the desired position. Check that the crank bolts are tight. It's recommended that if you're over 125 pounds that you run preload which is on the left side of the top of the shock. Dial this in until you find the desired stiffness. If you don't want any suspension at all, there's a lockout switch on the right hand side that you can turn the dial and it'll lock out your shock. Remember to check your tire pressure. Having your tires too soft can result in a flat tire or a slow bike. To charge the battery, once you're plugged into the wall, make sure you are plugged into the charger. Find the port in the battery, plug it in, red light will say it's charging, turns fully green once charged. Once the battery is fully charged, you can get it ready for installation into your bike. Align the battery so you can read the titling top to bottom. And then we want to align the bottom ports into the frame and then the top. Remove one of the keys and install it on your keychain or in another safe space. The key is required to remove the battery. Each time for removal. Bike assembly is complete. You're now ready to take your Surface 604 shred on a great adventure.